Here was manager Paul Jones following a really good win against Bursko. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was a very good win. It should have been much more comfortable than it was. I thought our first half performance was very good. Um, we missed some chances really to make it out of sight really at half time. And, um, you know, it, I guess it shows the development of the group that we've come in at 2 0 and conceded an early ish goal in the second half despite all of our warnings at half time and everybody knowing what their roles were and what they should have been doing. And we didn't capitulate, you know, you know Squires Gate, you know, only three or four weeks ago, we ended up losing the game. Um, AFC Liverpool, we ended up drawing the game. Um, so it's great that we've managed to see it through. We're, we're not particularly happy with the way that they've scored their goals, but ultimately you just, you know, you just got to come and get a result um, and I, I don't quite know how some of them have managed to do what they've done as, as I've just said to someone that the boat journey was not great um, I'm still struggling to be honest and they've run around a lot of them and done 70 to 90 minutes and and are out of possession done really really well so all credit to them like it's a, it was a tough shift today um, yeah and they could have made excuses for themselves um, some of them were sick on the boat and not great at all when they got off it and we've come here straight away and, and scored a, uh, scored three goals and, and won the game how have the players coped with the recent um coming back to coming back to the top teams in recent games you know how, like they've done they've done well today to hold it the, yeah they have 100 percent. they've done really really well to, to hold a, a burst go team off they they just ran forward quicker and they played in front of us in the first half and then they obviously been told that their two centre midfielders especially had to run in behind and we didn't cope with it very well for 10 minutes or so and um, the lads solved it in one way and then we solved it in a slightly different way um, and we were pretty solid again but yeah as I said before the, the, the their old sea legs um, you know weren't great this morning and um, yeah the fact that they've gone and delivered that sort of performance in a really difficult situation um, hopefully gives them a lot of confidence and it shows the resilience within the group. Was that tactically to play a bit more defensively in the second half or was that down to the opposition? No, I think Bursko pushed us back a little bit. The lads were tired, you know, the, it, it took an awful lot out of them today and some of them, as I say, had been retching or dry retching for you know, three hours on the way over. So, um, so, you know, they were tired like, and, and, and it showed a little bit in the second half, but the lad, lads who came on with fresh legs did, did what they needed to do. and. Um, yeah, you know, I'm sorry to uh, Owen and Dean who have had to come all the way over and um, contend with that boat trip and they didn't get a minute on the pitch. But um, you, know, you can't always get everyone on all of the time. But their attitude and how they've conducted themselves has been a credit to themselves and, and to the group. How did the team cope with um, conceding early on? Um, they didn't panic. You know, I think that was the main thing. They, they, they stuck to the plan. We've spoken about it quite a lot because it's been a problem for us in recent weeks and you know we've given them a little bit of ownership and a bit of accountability and to, for them to be able to take some resp responsibility to solve the problem if it's there and they did that for for 10 minutes and you know there was a bit of a break in play for something I, can't, I think it was Mike Williams's injury unfortunately so I hope he's okay um, we were able to have a conversation as a group and, and nailed it really and I thought we were quite comfortable after that point but um, yeah they just kind of be calm there's a plan there's a plan A plan B and plan C and if plan A is not working they, they've got the aut autonomy you know they're able to, to, to make a change if they need to and they did that and weathered the storm a little bit and allowed us to get a foothold in the game again and we probably should have scored a couple of goals second half as well over and above the penalty that we got so no really happy with them and really happy with how everyone's conducted themselves and it's been fantastic to have 50 plus Ravens fans on the boat with us and, and meeting us over here they've been brilliant in every away game we seem to be getting more and more people following us and um, that's incredible so well done to everybody who's involved in, in making that happen just finally you had two injuries you know coming off today michael and dean can you give us an update on that potentially yeah i think um dean was struggling a little bit after withenshaw um with something and um you know we was hopeful that it would settle down but you know he wasn't running freely first off and he made a sensible decision to to, to come off and then mike just landed a bit awkwardly i think and um you know straight after the game isn't the time to to really assess what's going on and make predictions but um yeah hopefully we'll he'll be looked at early in the week by josh and, and we'll see where we go from there but yeah he's walking around fine and yeah, hopefully he's all right thank you paul good win today cheers darren